what's going on y'all today we're going to be looking at this uh, new tool to me it's the Innova SD Advisor Diagnostic Tablet SD35 all systems network scan TPMS and tire pressure relearn service checks and resets you can go ahead and scan this QR code to uh, scan to learn more looks like you can do the ECM automatic transactional electronic parking brake airbags immobilizer cluster module rescan it is powered by the repair solutions too Decent enough uh, screen, three and a half inch display. So number one, connect and scan your vehicle. Two, verify, identify the problem. Three, buy the parts and fix the problem. You don't want to be a parts changer. Uh, you want to make a good uh, diagnostic and figure out what's truly wrong and then get the parts. And with Innova, you get a one year warranty. You can call them, live chat, email, help docs, manuals, and they have a community. A little bit about repair solutions to, uh, too. You can do unlimited reports and get the right parts with verified fix from their technicians ruggedized rubber exterior removable cable let's see emissions of smog check so all kind of different stuff go ahead and check it out see what all comes with it this one you don't have to recharge it because it's uh, always wired thought something fell out sometimes these little papers all right, so that one's empty. This one says stock start here and download the free app. Okay. Let's set that to the side. Here's the little unit. And here's the cable with the cardboard. Let's see. I have to undo the strap. I think it's kind of built in. Yeah. Okay. Set that to the side. We'll plug this in. Just kind of goes like that. Okay. Just kind of thread these in. So that it fits. Make sure both sides are good. Thread them both in tight. Not making a good connection. Let's see what's going on. All right, so I'll get it plugged in. Here's the unit right here. Let's see. Yeah, we just have to go for it. Let's see. There we go. English, Spanish, French. Oh, you can always change it. U.S. standard or metric unit of measurement. Smog check. Green LED. Yellow is a problem. Red, something else. And I believe you can update it with a Type C, so it's kind of more modern day. 13.06 volts. Kind of bouncing around. Okay, so everything's pretty much green. Misfire fuel, CCM, EGR, EVAP, CAT, heater. So, going to setting vehicle inspection setup. Diagnostic reports, customer report, collision industry, auto link setting, adjust the brightness. You can go brighter, darker. Pretty cool. Audible tone. I'm going to turn that one off. Some people might like that. Yeah, English, Spanish, French, unit measurement. There's the RS2 app. Okay, settings. Version information, uh, firmware version 23.01.02, bootloader image, OBD2. Uh, I don't believe this one has Wi-Fi. I think you would just have to update it with the cable. I don't think it didn't come with the cable, no. Okay. Let's 
tool library so if you have a code diagnostic trouble code you can go in here and look for the code like p0300 be random misfire i'll show you in there uh this can help you find your dlc the diagnostic uh, location port monitor icon status smog check let's see any previous vehicles you looked at obd2 OEM diagnostics, so this would be like global, and then this would be like for factory diagnostics, workshop tools. Let's see, workshop tools. 2018 Mazda 3, four cylinder 2.5, yes. Vehicle inspection, oil maintenance reset, battery reset, battery initialization, battery and alternator tests. Um, I already had the vehicle running. Parking brake is on. Transmission and park are neutral. Start engine. Turn on the headlights. Do not perform this test on smart alternator hybrid and electric. Okay, so you have to bring it up to 2000. Hold it there until it reaches zero. Okay, one moment, please. 13.05 voltage low. Hmm, huh. okay. But this is not the voltage directly at the alternator. This is the voltage at the diagnostic port. So, live data. Let's see. But it should be pretty similar. 60%, 14 volts. Oil maintenance, vehicle inspection. Just a pre scan. So I think it's going to scan some of these modules. See if I can get out of this one. Well, I think once you're in a scan, it sits there and scans. All right, so I just got done doing the system scan, emissions uh, inspection pass, system fault. Let's see, forward sensing camera, start stop unit. C100192, some other code, system no respond. Okay, so you can always do a pre-scan and a post-scan after you fix the parts. Customer report, collision industry report. I'm going to global. Look at some live data. Fuel system are in closed loop. Engine coolant temperature. They're right around zero in the long term or short term. I do like to see mass airflow in grams per second. I'd have to change it to metric. Location of oxygen sensor, bank one sensor two. Fuel rail pressure, it's under high pressure. 81% gas. Barometric. So this thing can do quite a bit. It's kind of small in the hands. You have a little grip right here. It's kind of nice to feel. I'll put this uh, in the link in the description. So far, my review is pretty good of this thing, guys, and I'd recommend it.
Thanks for watching. Take care.